Okay, folks, welcome back to another Budget Gem or Budget Bust. Today, I have got another Lanzer OptiDrive in for an unboxing and an amp dyno. Today, I have the Opti 1400D. Uh, as you remember, a couple of months ago, I tested the Opti 4000D. I actually got uh, three Lanzer Opti amps at the exact same time. This is one of them. The 4000D was one of the others, and I have a 4001D that we still have waiting to be tested. Uh, so, I have today for you the smaller in the Opti family, um, smaller amplifier in the Opti family. Um, this one is not a 4000 watt amplifier. This is more of a, you know, depends on how you want to say it. 1300 watt amplifier, 1000 watt amplifier. Um, uh, we'll get into that. So this amplifier is rated at, on the box, 500 watts RMS at 4 ohms, 800 watts RMS at 2 ohms, and 1300 watts max at 0.5 ohms. I think that's a misprint because when I look at all the online ratings, it's 1300 watts max at 1.3 ohms. Um, there's a lot of weird stuff with ratings on the Opti amplifiers, so we're going to find out what the truth is with this amp when we open up and strap it up to the amp dyno. So, enough talking about it. Let's unbox this amp and let's see what we get here. Let's see what I get for my 169 bucks that I paid. Okay, opening her up. Oh, so we have a side... Loaded one here. Uh, sorry if you can't see much of the unboxing. Gotta lift it up. So this here is either the data cable or the remote base knob. Uh, this also looks like it's either the data cable or remote base knob. It's uh, an extra styrofoam. I got the remote base unit. These are always, they look pretty nice with Lanzars, but just never really a great feel with the potentiometer on these. But, you know, they are full metal, so they should be okay for longevity's sake. Uh, let's see, owner's manual, we got one of those. Yep. Owner's manual here. Warranty card, so... We just jump through to the specs here. You probably can't see it. I'll take a photo of it. Here are the specs. We've got RMS power into 4 ohms in the 1400D. We got 500 watts RMS, 800 watts RMS into 2 ohms. And here's where it gets weird. RMS power into 1.3 ohms. Who runs 1.3 ohms nowadays? Um, but that's a thousand watts RMS. So. These are the three ratings we're going to judge the amplifier off. 500, 800, and 1,000 at 1, 1.3. Thank God the dyno actually has a 1.33 ohm mode. Um, we're also going to drop down to 1 ohm and see, because this also says 1,300 watts max power at 1.3. Let's see how that does, but uh, I'll try down to 1 ohm too. Let's see how stable she is at 1 ohm, and let's see exactly what this amplifier can perform. Like most of you are going to use it for, but a lot of you, you're going to use it for 1 ohm. I don't think any of you out there are going to use it for 1.3 if you are going to buy one of these. Um, and let's pull a hole in. <laughs> There's one thing that they are not with Lanzar Opti amps. They are not light. Jesus Christ, this thing is heavy. Excuse me if any of you were offended by what I just said there. But holy cow. She is a hefty, hefty amplifier. Um, but it's a very, very nice looking amplifier. You can see we got a nice um, brushed aluminum look along the top, like pure aluminum. Um, we get the kind of a polished and brushed Lanzar logo there. Um, of course, this nice strip here along the bottom for the Opti. Designed and engineered in the USA. Who knows if that's even true anymore with these amps? Probably not. 
other than maybe the heat sink design but it's a very solid feel just like every other lanzer opti amp that i've got here they do stay consistent with the heft and the uh just the overall feel that you get in your hands with one of these they don't you know some people say well the opti amps and heritage amps are the same amps and it's like no i can tell you i can definitely tell you they are not you pick up a heritage amp you're like oh my god this thing's a feather you pick up an opti you're like oh my god this thing's a effing brick so very nice here looks very nice so let's check out the sides of the amp along this side of the amplifier we find our power and ground terminals as well as our speaker output terminals and our fuses so we have over here we have of course our power and ground um, these are four gauge connections with a <laughs> oversized eight gauge remote input. Um, they do fit a four gauge reducer. It's a little tight on those, but you can squeeze one in. Um, over here, of course, your single set of speaker outputs. Um, they are eight gauge, um, just like your remote terminal. So that ought to be more than enough to handle the current of the uh, 1300 watts that's listed in the manual. And of course, uh, four 30 amp fuses, which is right about what we want to see on a 1300 watt RMS amplifier. Along this side of the amplifier, we have all of our settings, as well as our RCA inputs and outputs, and our data link, etc. So there are quite a bit of settings for this amplifier, which is kind of nice that uh, you have all this flexibility. Um, you do, of course, have your phase shift, which is adjustable from zero just a switch zero to 180 degrees uh, you have your gain here subsonic filter which is adjustable from 15 hertz all the way up to 40 hertz you have a low pass filter from 150 down to 50 hertz bass boost uh, if you really want to use it it's zero to 18 dbs i recommend you don't um, this amp is strappable so you could switch here if you want to go from either this be the master amp or the slave amp Here's your data link. That's what you would use to strap the two amps together. And of course, your uh, remote for your base knob is right here. And as I mentioned, here are your RCA inputs and outputs. So it's nice that even though this amplifier is not a lot of money, it gives you a lot of flexibility for connecting it up. All right, taking a look at the guts. And here we are. This is a Korean made amplifier, so we got a lot of the standard looking parts that we normally see in here when we look at a cream made amplifier which means a very good build quality um, you can see here the transformers are seated really well all the caps they are they don't move here this is exactly what you want to see inside of an amplifier that's been built really well um, the caps are made by fangzi which you know i'm not uh, uh, the foremost expert on cap brands um, but I have seen these before in other higher end amplifiers. Um, all the caps here are 105 degrees, which is one, what you want to see for longevity. Um, plenty of heat sink here. Um, this will probably be a standard driver board that's over on this side of the amplifier. But the nice thing they did is they have a fan that blows directly onto your driver board um, for a little bit of extra cooling. Um, so yeah. Looks pretty good inside. Looks every bit of a <laughs> thousand watts RMS. Probably even a lot more than a thousand watts based on this. All right, nothing left to do here but to strap up the Lanzer Opti Drive 1400D up to our trusty amp dyno and find out just how much power this good looking amplifier uh, puts out. Um, we're looking for. 1,000 watts RMS at 1.3 ohms. Uh, that's a really random number. I think we'll even drop it to 1 ohm, because 1310, no difference at all. Let's just find out really what this does. Is it overrated like the 4000D, or is it pretty accurately rated like the 700X2 that we did? We'll find out. I'll see you after the test.
Okay, final thoughts here on the Lancer Opti 1400D. Uh, yeah, as you saw on the ratings, this amplifier does every bit and more of what it says in the manual it's going to do. Um, I'm leaving away from this test impressed with this amp. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. When I first got this amp in, um, I had very high hopes from it because I got it in around the same time I got that Opti 4000D in um, that we did a couple of months ago. I've, I've, I've had this amp here for a while. Um, I figured after the 4000D test, um, all right, maybe it'll get kind of respectable numbers, but could fall short because uh, the Opti 4000D fell pretty short, um, but it was a good value. This one is a good value and it exceeds all its ratings. So yes, this is a budget gem. Um, again, I paid $169 for this amplifier uh, from Deal Buys on eBay, who is related to Lanzar themselves. Um, I think they've got some refurbs out there now for about $139. Um, but even if you don't go through them, the going street rate for this amplifier seems to be around $200. And yeah, for $200, this seems to be a pretty darn good amplifier. It's built really, really well. Um, it output more than what it says in the manual it's supposed to. Uh, <laughs> funny thing is, is when you you, know, you look at it and it says, well, it's a 1300 watt max amplifier in the, you know, in the uh, owner's manual and a thousand watt RMS, you kind of go, uh, I don't know. And 1.3 ohms, I mean, what's up with that? But when you drop it down to one ohm, you get plus all the max numbers that are on this. So not only do you get all the RMS numbers promised, you get all the max numbers as well. So this is a very nice value. If you're out there looking for a 1400 watt, uh, 13, 1400 watt Korean made amplifier, don't look past this one. Very solid, heavy as heck, just like all the other OptiDrive amplifiers we've ever had. Um, so if you're tight on space, might not be the 1400 amplifier that you want. There's plenty of smaller 1400 watt amplifiers out there, but nice job Lanzar. Um, again, I like this one. So that's it for me, folks. I've got more amps to test. I'll see you next time.